found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. Hi loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Esther Kanja. And in case you're new here, kindly do not forget to subscribe and also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for keeping it here. Welcome back. Yeah, so today I thought of doing a sit down video. Yeah, and from the title, you already know what we are about to talk right now. And yeah, today I'll be sharing with you people some of the of the things I've been doing to boost my self-esteem lately. Yeah, I know in one time or the other in everyone's life, there comes a time where you feel like you are on top of the world, like nobody can tell you anything, you know? At that time, your self-esteem is usually very high. And there are also other times that we also, everyone has their ups and downs. And there, there are these times where you feel like you're too low, you can't do anything and Ooh. you see those moments that you feel like your esteem is huko chini ya kitanda, you know? Those are the times that I'm talking about and yeah. What is self-esteem? That is the first thing that we should know before we get into the things that usually tamper with our self-esteem and what we can do, some of the things that you can do to boost our self-esteem a disclaimer <laughs> i'm not a counselor i'm not a counselor i'm not neither am i a motivational speaker so the things that i'm about to say here it's just what i've been doing to work on myself and maybe it might help someone out there yeah so i've noted some of the things down on this phone yeah so let's get started yeah what is self-esteem by the way, according to me, I usually feel like uh, how low or how high your self-esteem is, it all starts from your brain. Like, I usually feel like it's a mi mindset, period. That's what I usually feel. But let's see what self-esteem is defined as. Yeah, so self-esteem uh, is an individual subjective evaluation of their own worth. So... Tip number one that I always feel like this is the most important thing while working on your self-esteem is caring about your appearance. Care about your appearance. Care about your appearance, honey. I repeated that three times. Care about your appearance. Just look good. Look good for you, not for people. No, 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 no. I said look good for you. Wake up in the morning, take a shower, dress nicely. If you're a lady, do your makeup and just feel good about yourself feeling good about yourself is the key thing on boosting your self-esteem yeah and looking good does not mean that you have to dress expensively no 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 no. you can put on that mtumba cloth worth 20 shillings and i here put on designer clothes but if we get to talk you'll come to know that me who is dressed in designer clothes i have a lot of things that are pulling me down there and you who is dressed cheaply and you have a very high self-esteem and you're feeling good about yourself we are different you know expensive is not everything you just feel good feel good with whatever you have and make yourself appear good tip number two my tip number two on boosting my self-esteem is listing my accomplishments. List down your accomplishments. No matter how small they might look, no matter how small they are, no matter how small they are to other people, just list them down as long as you've accomplished them. List them down, go through them, and give yourself a pat on the back and congratulate yourself congratulate yourself trust me you that will make you feel like you are achieving and it will also help you you boost your self-esteem and tip number three is welcome failure as part of growth and i feel 
like this one is also very important. Actually, mm -hmm. all these tips are very important. Welcoming failure as part of growth. Mm -hmm. You know, it's normal for we human beings being so hard on ourselves once we fail, like we, you were so determined to do something and you wanted to succeed. Then all of a sudden or something just comes in and it backfires. We usually, we are usually so hard on ourselves. Okay, it's not bad being hard on ourselves, but again, we should learn how to welcome failure as part of growth. I usually feel like that is that usually helps someone and okay welcoming failure i feel like we we should shift our mind f uh, to understanding that failure is always an opportunity to learn failure does not mean that you are a loser like you're you'll remain a failure forever no we should switch our mind to <clears throat> viewing failure as an opportunity to learn to grow and to expand that's my opinion yes and tip number four <clears throat> is face your fears okay it's allowed to feel afraid at times we are human you know but either way keep moving just keep moving regardless you know it's usually said that um that um, self-esteem is usually found in between our deepest fears and our greatest no Self-esteem is usually found in between our deepest desires and our greatest fears. So, it's allowed to feel afraid, but keep going regardless. Our tip number five is stand at the edge of your comfort zone. Yeah, just stretch out yourself. Move to that edge of your comfort zone. And by moving to the edge of your comfort zone is is trying out new things meeting new people doing things that you're afraid of doing just try you try new things just don't be comfortable get out of your comfort zone you see those things that you're afraid of doing those fears that we've talked about in number four just don't be comfortable face your fears get at the edge of that comfort zone and trust me you that will help you feel like you're achieving and it will give you the morale of doing things and trying trying out new things and meeting new people and at long last you'll find yourself like you're so here you know yes yeah, so number six is help someone and by helping someone this does not mean that you have to be rich now nah. Helping someone does not mean that you have to be having everything that you need so that you can be able to help someone. Helping someone does not mean that you give them a good phone, does not mean that you, you, you buy them something so expensive, no. Helping someone, no matter how small whatever you're helping that person with looks to you, that person you're helping at that time feels like, I don't know, you, people usually treasure things that you've helped them with let's say for instance you're somewhere where you live there's some neighbor there who you know wanala lanja you know it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have like 10 kgs of unga in your house and you don't know where you you'll take them no maybe you have two kilograms you can just share a quarter and you'll help someone and that person will feel good about you helping them and they'll be there blessing you and telling you and you'll be feeling good eh, and yeah anyway, i've helped out someone and they're so happy about that and trust me that usually helps you feel good about yourself and i just it's just good it helps one to work on their esteem trust me you just help out someone not even just giving people foodstuffs just anything someone comes to you and they need of something and you're in a position to help just help even if it's just giving someone directions you just help <clears throat> tip number seven i hope i'm now okay i'm on track yeah tip number seven is heal from your past heal from your past actually this is very important healing from your past your past is usually unresolved issues and resolved dramas things that you've been through in the past and your heart is so heavy like you're working with those things everywhere you're going to trust me you that is something that usually pulls once down one's self-esteem down 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 like down you need to heal from your past that 
broken relationship that person who broke your heart that thing which happened to you and you felt like that was the end of you you need to heal from it trust me you healing from that will always always help you boost your self-esteem and have a very high self-esteem and healing from your past usually helps you to enter into the future confidently and uh, yeah and just being confident about yourself and yeah that's tip number seven number eight tip number eight stop worrying about what other people think or say about you and at this point <clears throat> this is you we are working on you not other people don't listen to those people coming to tell you so and so say this and this about you this and this by the way mimi i've been through a lot of things very bad ones very good things and i usually hear i'm usually told a lot of things i don't know so and so they say this and this and this about me so and so was telling me this and this about you and you know something at this point and at this age i have no energy to explain anything to anyone you had that you said that about me so and so told you so you're coming to confirm if it's true i have no energy to explain honey it's true just believe believe whatever they told you believe whatever you had they said it that is their opinion but to me that i don't allow that to count i don't allow that to tamper with my esteem like unaniambia inaangili hapa and it gets out from this other ear don't explain anything to anyone don't listen to whatever any other person thinks about you or says about you that is very important it's a key thing yeah i've already lost count once again i mean tip number nine yes tip number nine let negative people go having negative people in your life by they usually have it has a very big impact on your self-esteem like you do something and you feel like hey i've really achieved like you really wanted to do something then this person who is in your circle or even sometimes it doesn't even have to be friends sometimes it's even the person you're dating you know those those negative people oh my god i don't know i feel like i can really talk about being around negative people you might be having a negative boyfriend you might be having a negative friend a negative girlfriend a negative sibling a negative anyone you do something and you really feel good about yourself then that person is there telling you you will have done it this way like really who even asked for your opinion my friend such people you need to cut them off cut them off negative people just let them go you can do without them trust me you let negative people go yes tip number 10 number 10 and our last tip is always remain a student yes always remain a student in everything you do you should always think of yourself as a lifelong learner am i making sense a lifelong learner yes you just everything that you're doing just approach it with a student's mind yeah and i read somewhere that ben buddhist calls that student mind uh, sho shoshin or beginner's mind yeah like everything that you're doing everything that you're approaching you should approach it in uh, in an open mind a positive mind an unbiased mind like you're ready to learn to learn <laughs> you're ready to learn if it comes out positively you're good to go if it's negative you won't be so harsh on yourself you'll have an open mind and you'll take that opportunity as a positive thing and as a good way to expand and to learn and also to grow uh, so those are my 10 tips on how i boost myself esteem i hope you also learned and that you're going to also try and imply them to boost yourself esteem and you'll thank me later trust me you they have worked for me and i'm sure they can also work for you so after this after this video i'll be doing uh is it a 10 a 10 day challenge a 10 days challenge of 
loving yourself that is loving myself and i'll take along with you guys i'll take me along with you guys on these 10 days of self-love and working on loving yourself and putting yourself as a priority hey oh, once again the kiku in me will never let me prosper <laughs> I'll take, I'll take you along with me on in these days in these 10 days challenge of self-love in doing these small small things to yourself by then you don't necessarily have to wait for someone to treat you you don't have to wait for someone to take you out for lunch you don't wait you don't have to wait for someone to go buy you a card and bring it to you you don't have to wait for someone to go buy you a nice dress and bring it to you you don't have to wait for someone to take you out for a picnic you don't have to wait for someone to do anything for you you can do everything for you you can do anything for you you can do anything for you for yourself yes so i'll be taking your people with me i feel like i'm saying this for the 90th time now yeah so stay tuned for those videos and for those small small self treat and those 10 days of self love yeah still the next time i upload another video have yourselves a lovely time i love you guys bye i'm gonna miss you